like a bow. And, and for some women, especially that women who are who adamantly say that cheating will make them leave, the more they deny, the more they make an effort to let you know that they'll leave if you cheat, those are the ones that will stay if you cheat. Notice the patterns. An example, remember mystery method? What was the one strategy that women always talk shit out on? Nagging. Backhanded compliments. Those things they say it doesn't work. It does work. Okay? Like, like it fucking works. When you talk with her, you're noticing that it's a little harder to have a conversation. When you're texting her, you notice that she barely puts effort into texting, right? What you got to do is not do more. What you got to do is pull away and stop doing more and let her walk away. You know what I'm saying? Look, look guys, women will walk away and have a tendency of making you think that they'll never walk away because of the way they act. We've we've all seen it time in and time in and time again. When they act like they really will never let you go, you start noticing that they do let you go. So don't trust your parents. Don't don't act like she's don't don't trust the fact that she's happy to see you. You don't know that she's gonna be there tomorrow, right? You don't know, so ask her if you can record her sucking your dick. All right, ask her because you don't know if she might be there tomorrow. Maybe when a woman says maybe, or I'll let you know, you know. That that then don't then let her let you know. Be polite. Say no problem. Don't worry about it. Let me know when your when your schedule clears up, and then you pull away. Then you stop initiating contact. You're gonna be distant. You're gonna keep the conversation short, and you're not gonna ask her questions on on texting. You're gonna be polite, respond to her, but you're not gonna engage, and you're gonna take your time to respond. Not too much, not too much, but two one or two hours. But you're gonna respond, and you're gonna be polite, and that's that. Get, oh, you're not going to ask her out. You're not going to ask her out. You say, let me know when your schedule clears up. By the way, guys, we're doing a very unique um, special where we're getting, where we're sending all of our courses for men in a, in a bundle. That means you guys can get Nice Guy and Dark Game with all of the bonuses for $179. Now, naturally, if you buy them all, it will be $349. But for this special, we're doing this this month. Where you guys can just, if you haven't gotten it yet, and you want to get it all for one price, it, it's one seventy nine. It includes all of the bundles for 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 dark game, and it, it includes um, nice guy. So go check it out right now. Look at that. You get practical mastery. Oh, let me show you right here. Right. These are the these are all of the bundles that you get. You get practical practical mastery it's about how to develop mastery in any field um the dark game bonuses social mastery how to develop your social skills and the laws of human nature it's a part of the robert green book club you get nice guy and of course dark game all for 179 right um click on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle um it's something that i've never made before a lot of you guys have been clamoring me to do it so get it now and i'll see you guys inside all right now let's get back to the video Second one, don't double text a woman. If a woman, she saw your text. Women have their phones with them 24-7. 24-7, they have their phones on you, on them. So if she's not responding to you, there's a reason why she's doing that. She's not blind. She's not dumb. She's not, you know, like they know what they're doing that. Sometimes the most important thing as a guy is accepting when a woman doesn't like you. Okay. So learn to have patience because if you double text, you're pretty much showing to her you need it. You're pretty much showing to her that you really, really want this. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. But when a woman is lukewarm about you and you look too keen, too interested, She's gonna get a she's gonna get a little scared and put away and pull away at you. So never double text a woman under no circumstance. Third thing, leadership. This is simple fundamental shit, man. But a lot of you guys just don't understand this. If you had a job, work toward being the leader. Work toward being a manager. Work toward being the head of something. Because that's just naturally gonna put you on the spotlight, right? That's naturally gonna make you more attractive. It's, it's just that simple. The leaders of a job will get the most attention from the opposite sex. Now, if you're a competent leader, that ups it up even more. Leadership position, that is something every single one of you can work on. Leadership position, which is always put you on the spotlight and will raise your value. Other things that you could do is showing altruism. Altruism to a woman is very valuable, right? If you have altruistic tendencies, it says, it's, it says that maybe one day if you guys have a kid, there's a high likelihood that you're going to stay, right? 
altruism is also a good gene to have for your family, right? Because it says that you're selfless, right? It's, um, um, having those types of genes makes you a good family member. The point is, is that if a woman sees you indirectly giving to, money to homeless people, um, um, giving uh, or doing something selfless, right? If a woman sees you doing it indirectly, not directly. Whatever women say won't work is what works. Okay, it's because they hated that it works, and that and and so, and because of that, they deny it. They deny that money works, money to money to get women. They deny it works. It does work. Women will say that that they don't go after guys that are rich. They don't go after guys that are money. They go after their personality. Clearly, in our our experience, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. In fact, women gravitate towards money and value, right? It only makes evolutionary sense. Other thing is. Um, Talking about ambitious stories, for example, if you work at McDonald's, don't tell a woman that you work that you work at McDonald's and that's that. Tell her that you work at McDonald's, but also that you're there because you want to learn how to manage a, a restaurant so that one day, five years from now, you could work your way up, become a manager, right? Become a regional manager, and maybe one day open your own restaurant for yourself, right? Now you're not just somebody who works at McDonald's, now you're somebody with ambition, and women find that attractive. So you want to tell women how ambitious you are through your stories, that type of stuff. Never put a woman above your purpose, plain and simple. And this is why it's always good to have a rigid schedule where you don't meet women. Put your life's purpose above any woman, and women will come to you. And what will happen is that a woman will sense it. A woman will sense that you don't put her over a man, over, over your life's work. And it kind of like, it becomes almost like her competition, You're, which is kind of crazy. Your purpose becomes her competition. And her purpose is going to be to take you out of her, your purpose and spend more time with her. Never do that. Let her keep fighting. Get, keep her, that challenge in her life. Never give in to her. Don't give a, don't give a F how, how good she sucks your, your balls. Never give in to that. One of the ways that women play with men's emotions is that they're inconsistent. When a woman likes you, she's consistent, bro. It's just that simple. Because it's emotions that are controlling her. So when, when, when it's emotions controlling her actions, she's going to be consistent because she's, she consistently wants to see you no matter what. It's something that they just have to have. So whenever you see a girl who says let's hang out and then cancels on you, you ask her out, she doesn't even respond to that. She cancels the first date, second date. She's consistently being late on all the dates, my dude. Oh, and most importantly, you're always taking her out to restaurants, you're buying her stuff before you're even banging her. Bro, she's trying to fuck with you. When and when it's not appropriate to call out women on their games, all right? Because there are times when you can't call them out because you, you'll sound too butthurt. But then there are times where you just have to call them out or else you just look like a wimp, all right? So we're going to talk about that, the occasions when you can and the occasions when you can, how to do it properly, all right? Um, because, hey, man, I've kicked a lot of women out of my house in my days, all right? And it's absolutely important to know when to do this because if you don't know when to do it, you'll rationalize disrespect and, and it'll become a pattern. Other things that you could do is talking about your weaknesses and vulnerabilities. If you're coming across as too masculine, my dude, you gotta have some weaknesses. So something that you could do is when you talk to the w woman, right? You could talk about how maybe a woman broke your heart and how now you have a hard time trusting women, right? Or you could talk about how maybe um, you never you had a tough time making friends as you were a kid. And so that's why you were alone a lot. Or maybe you could talk about how you constantly suffer um, through depression and you feel like shit 99.9% .9 of the time and how you have a hard time feeling good, right? Anything to bring some sympathy. The point is this, people. It makes people go, oh, which makes people see the real you. They make they, they see a human element to all of this, right? When we usually talk in a way that makes us look good, by bringing in these types of weaknesses, it makes you look vulnerable, and women find that attractive. The power of insinuation. Now, I usually teach this to women. There's not something I teach to guys because this is too damn manipulative. Now, am I being a hypocrite that I teach this to women? I am. Okay, I, I am. I feel like a little, there's, there's like a gender bias teaching women manipulative tactics. My, but, but mind you, the tactics that I teach in this channel are more for, for like the good of things, okay? And they're nice tactics, like non-manipulative, but they work better. But this tactic is too good to not teach you this because if you guys want to use it to get inside a woman's mind, to make her insecure so that you could become her source of validation, go ahead and use it. This is not something that I use. 
because I'm more of our uplifting people. Now, if you guys want to use it, go ahead. But just realize that getting a woman obsessed with you is not as fun as it look. Getting a woman madly in love with you is not as fun as it look. It's actually kind of annoying, right? The next thing that you could do to solve that kind of confusion is with your face. Learning how to how to how to have a bland face from time to time, right? Not being so hey, it's hey. be more hey, yeah. With your face, you develop more like a poker look. It's more like a poker look, and that that causes it to look into your eyes a little bit harder. That causes it to wonder what's in your eyes. See what I'm saying? So with your words, say something. Actions, do otherwise, and then with your face. Women say that being cold doesn't work and that you have to be nice to get them. I work with women, I coach women all the time. That's not true. In fact, when you're cold towards them and they like you, and because it only works if they kind of like you, if you're cold towards them and they like you, it actually makes you, it actually makes you make them like you more. If a woman says any of these six things to you, just, just, just pull away, honestly, just pull away. I don't want you to be putting any more effort when, whenever a woman says any of this, pull away and let her do all the work from then on. Because this usually means she's not interested. But sometimes the woman has a fragile ego where if you pull away, she can't help it. She, she just needs to get that validation. Or sometimes a small percentage, they're hiding their interest and they're just playing games. You know, and if you pull away, you call them out on their bluff and actually start chasing. Trust me, I coach, I coach women. That's what usually happens and that's usually their biggest downfall when the guys pull away and they don't and they keep chasing forward okay guys i hope you guys enjoy this compilation um just to let you guys know don't forget um to get the bundle click on the description down below where it says purchase the bundle it's a huge discount to get all of my courses in one place and there's 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it um and i'll see you guys inside okay take care